Hello, my name is Jeffrey. I am a Andrew Peel student. I am a, currently a junior and I am participating in Link Crew this year. I'm a young creator, like to explore things with the camera and digital softwares like Photoshop and Illustrator. So Jeffrey, can you tell the reader what was the incident that happened in your life that you would like to share with readers? Uh, this one happened recently. It happened like the beginning of this year actually. So my dad wanted me to study for the driving test, but then I chose to study at a later time. And then he kind of got mad and then things got pretty ugly. And then mom ended, me kick, mom ended up kicking me out of the house for it. And then I took the time to actually run away to a friend's house. And that's when I had to call my mom and I get picked up. And it was like this like split in the family that happened for a while. But like, things like resolved in the end and then we're all like a happy family again. But then I learned that if I put things a little bit later, even though it's convenient, I should always listen to my parents. Almost always listen to my parents. Because sometimes they know what's best, and sometimes I know what's best, but then communication is really important. So what you're saying is communication, 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 correct? Yes. Good. So what is that one thing you did that anyone can do to achieve that you have? The one, the one thing I did that everybody else can do is to never give up on our goals and stay dedicated. Because once they give up, they'll never see the light of which all the hard work came from. Some people go to college and then they just give up. Like if they actually stay, they could have got a good job, lived a successful life. And just giving up is just not a good idea. So that's why I'm dedicated to school right now. I'm dedicated to what I do. I'm dedicated to sleeping because I got to get that sleep. But dedication is the most important thing and never give up. So what is your goal? My goal is to become a future animator or content creator. Uh -huh. Yeah, I've been playing around with Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Premiere Pro a lot lately and also Adobe Animate. Uh -huh. I'm trying to make something new from what I have. Also been trying to upgrade my equipment to better fit those needs. Like trying to get a better processor or touch screen with a pen to draw on it and also been researching a lot about computer parts as well because I'm interested in technology. So what was the most or who is the most influential person in your life besides your parents? The most influential person, people in my life besides my, my parents are these two people that used to come to the school, Raylene and Kamau. Mm -hmm. They were like really, really good friends. I miss them a lot. They taught me a lot of like how to really socialize with people. Without them, I do feel a bit lost. Was there a teacher that inspired you in the classroom? Uh, there is definitely a teacher that inspired me in the classroom. Her name is Miss Farmer. She's a multimedia teacher for Andrew Hill. I learned a lot from her class. It's actually what inspired her class. Te teaching about Adobe Illustrator is what inspired me to use vector graphics for animation instead of rasterized graphics. Wow. So, how do your friends react to your accomplishment and how it has challenged you? Well, whenever they see me accomplish and succeed or something, they'll come to me asking for help and then it comes with me in a position where I always have to achieve just so I can help them back. Sometimes I can help them without achieving and sometimes they just don't even want to do the work with it. I just feel like I'm kind of like stuck in this confined corner or the only way is to go up, no left or right or down, just up. And it's a really skinny path, like probably way too skinny for me to even fit through, and I just feel like kind of just really trapped in a small, tall corner. So, do you think you're wearing the horse's blinders and you're just running through? Maybe you need to take those blinders off? Definitely. Okay. What do you like to do, Jeffrey, when you're not in the school? Well, when I'm not at school, I uh, usually every Thursday so I go helping out in Lighthouse and mentoring at Laron. And I also like to watch a bunch of YouTube videos about, you know, animation and technology. And I also do play a lot of video games. My current favorite game right now is Marvel Spider-Man for the PS4. Exclusive game, so no Xbox right there. Then also like to animate and do a bit of video editing and sometimes, you know, mess around with images and put my face on it just because it's funny. Okay. So, what college you plan to go to? 
Well, the one college I have my eyes on right now is Academy of Arts University. But then also been getting a lot of emails from other colleges lately, like one from, you know, not university, one from Hawaii, the one from New York City called The New School, which is uh -huh. a pretty interesting name. I, I do say so myself. And then I got a bunch from like Utah and like other states too. Okay, okay. And so what is your real goal in life as far as education? Well, I want to learn how to become successful in the uh, media and entertainment industry. Because like, I've always been like fascinated by like animation and toys and so like, as a little kid. Like my biggest like driving point was Thomas the Tank Engine. That's like my childhood right there. I wouldn't let him go to like eighth grade. I'm glad I did though. But then I do see how like they evolved into CGI. I was like thinking like, what if I do 3D instead of 2D? Okay. So here come Hollywood. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Jeffrey, for taking time to meet with us. As a pleasure, thank you for having me. Sharing with the community your goals and your ideas. And hopefully this will inspire other students. Thank you.